This is where some people with type 2 diabetes end up. It's a hemodialysis unit where patients have their blood cleansed of impurities. It's a job normally done by the kidneys, but kidney failure is a debilitating side effect of type 2 diabetes. These patients must spend several hours a day, every two or three days. Ellen knows all too well what it is to go through dialysis. It's been two years since she started the treatment. It's a shock to know that your life is about to change dramatically. You're going to have to be hooked up to a machine to, to give you quality living. And without it, you don't have a life. With the support of her family, she's at the hospital three times a week. Dialysis changes everybody's life. It's not just the patient that requires it, but it changes how our lives evolve. You end up, my mom comes to the hospital but for her treatment, but we do the, the sitting and waiting also. It affects the family. Exciting study results presented at the annual meeting of the American Diabetes Association shows there's a way to prevent the onset and the worsening of kidney damage and keep many of these patients from having to go through the ordeal of hemodialysis. Lead Canadian investigator for the Advanced International Study, Dr. Pavel Hammett, is the Chief of Gene Medicine Services at Montreal University Hospital. Main results of the study is the reduction of the complications of diabetes uh, at the vascular level particularly important for the kidney. Kidney diabetes uh, leads to the, ultimately to the hemodialysis in kidney failure, and we have been able in advanced study to demonstrate that we can decrease by 21% this uh, complication using intensification of glucose control by nearly normalizing blood glucose levels. The advanced study is the largest ever of its kind. It followed more than 11,000 patients for periods ranging from four to six years. The participants came from 20 countries around the world and all had one thing in common. They had been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. They have to come here at the hospital or center to receive treatment three times a week. And the time is uh, four hours. And they have to accept the processes to accept this sickness and emotionally it's very hard for many of them. There are over 17,000 Canadians on dialysis every year, a number that is expected to double by 2013. Physicians advocate various strategies to maintain normal blood glucose levels. Proper diet, regular exercise and medication all play a part. If you have questions about blood glucose levels, please talk to your doctor. This is Bob Harding reporting. It's a shock to know that your life is about to change dramatically. You're going to have to be hooked up to a machine to, to give you quality living. And without it, you don't have a life. Main results of the study is the reduction of the complications of diabetes uh, at the vascular level, particularly important for the kidney. Kidney diabetes uh, leads to the ultimately to the hemodialysis in kidney failure, and we have been able in advanced study to demonstrate that we can decrease by 21% this uh, complication using intensification of glucose control by nearly normalizing blood glucose levels. They have to come here at the hospital or center to receive treatment three times a week. And the time is uh, four hours. And they have to accept the processes to accept this sickness. And emotionally, it's very hard for many of them.